All right, what's up guys? It's Wombat, and um, I'm actually here to talk about something that I actually don't think has been made into a video yet, but it is um, about the compatibility between Hasbro Beyblade Burst parts and Takara Tomi Beyblade Burst parts. And uh, it turns out that, if you didn't already know, um, the two brands have different locking mechanisms for how the Beyblade's assembled and how to determine where it bursts and because of that they're incompatible with one another uh, so the Takara Tomi Beyblades here they have teeth like this bloody Longinus see the little spikes they're teeth and uh, these teeth correspond with the with the white tabs on the top of the driver here. Kinda hard to see, hold on, let me, probably a little easier to see on a dash driver. You can see the little tabs there. These lock in between the teeth, which makes the clicking noise when you assemble the Beyblade. So this is Takara Tomi Larry with the Takara Tomi driver. You can hear all the clicks. And um, while the Hasbro drivers do have that same tab on the top of them. Uh, the tab is slightly shorter. I think it's like a fraction of a millimeter, which sounds like not a lot, but given the scale of this mechanism on these Beyblades, it's pretty significant. Like, I guess if you ever played MFB, half a millimeter was five track height. So like, 105 is half a millimeter taller than 100, so it does make like kind of a difference. Uh, but anyways, the tabs on the driver are slightly shorter, so it will click in the same way. You can technically use a Hasbro driver on a Takara Tomi layer, but as you can tell, it's much easier to click. The clicks are not as strong sounding, and it will generally be a loose fit it will burst more and it's also illegal for tournaments. Now the reason why uh, this cross compatibility is illegal for tournaments is because of the Hasbro layers here. Okay, this is this is my this is my damaged Balti Rec layer. Uh, this was before I knew that um, here's a non damaged Balti Rec V2 and as you can see there are no teeth just a smooth slope up here and um, the tab on the driver will move along the slope and it will be forced I guess downward along the slope to compress the spring further until it finally bursts but the steepness of the slope is kind of like the the length and the thickness of the teeth in that it determines how much burst resistance the Beyblade has uh, but the taller Takara Tomi teeth actually damage these slopes. Uh, I used this Voltirec here in a bunch of burst attack, burst defense testings. I just put it on the Takara Tomi claw because the, the Takara Tomi drivers on Hasbro layers have an incredibly tight fit. Like, this is impact, a driver no one really cares about. Uh, but as you can see if I slide it on here it's like really hard to turn you can see like these the disc tabs are not moving unless I really try and turn it like that and like you can't you it's really hard to turn it back this thing isn't gonna burst in battle so ah, that that tightness is why the Takara Tomi drivers are not compatible with the Hasbro layers because it would make them too hard to burst and on top of that they aren't designed to be compatible as you can tell by the damage to the slopes on this layer here. Uh, so basically uh, do not mix brands between Takara Tomi and Hasbro do not use a Takara Tomi driver on a Hasbro layer. Use it because it will damage the layer and possibly the driver. 
any layer that has uh, been damaged like this is illegal for tournament play. Using a Hasbro layer with a Takara Tomy driver is illegal in competitive play, as is using a Takara Tomy layer with a Hasbro driver. Although, um, using the Hasbro driver with the Takara Tomy layer will not damage either of them, it's still illegal and uh, it'll make the Beyblade burst more. It'll decrease its burst resistance because the tabs are shorter on the Hasbro driver. So yeah, overall I made this because I didn't think there had been a video about it, but yeah, the two brands, despite all, I guess, previous history, Metal Fight, they were compatible, Plastics, they were, HMS, they were, Burst, they are not. So just a fair warning to those of you who have just Hasbro or just Takeratomi and are thinking, or buying, thinking of buying the other brand. They are not compatible, and for those of you who do have both, this is just um, a video telling you not to mix these parts and the consequences of mixing the parts with one another. So uh, I hope this has been useful. It's kind of late, but I, it took me a while to realize that, oh, a video like this hasn't really been made before, so I figured I should at least there should at least be one like this. So uh, I'll see you guys next time then.